it's Mrs. Shannon here with a book review. Although it's still May, this book is the first book I'm reading in celebration of Pride Month. Pride Month takes place in June, but since we're only in school for half of June, I wanted to go ahead and start reading some books that are off of our suggested reading list to review for you, just in case you wanted to check out some of those books before school ends. So this book is called The Best At It by Malik Pancholi. And you can find that Pride Month reading list on our Schoology page by joining our course. And the course code is on the screen. I hope you enjoy. As he enters his seventh grade year of middle school, Rahul Kapoor has a lot on his mind. Like, why can't he stop thinking about fellow classmate Justin and how perfect he is? And why is Brent, the football player, watching Rahul's every move just waiting for him to do something stupid? Why is it cool to be on the football team, but nerdy to be a mathlete? Why is he embarrassed when his mom and aunties wear their saris in public? And why does he sometimes wish he was less brown? And perhaps most confusing of all, why can't he sleep at night without having to check that all the doors are locked and all the appliances are turned off five times over? Like, what the heck is going on with him? Chelsea, his BFF, and Bai, his grandfather, know him best, and they can tell something is wrong, but he just can't talk about any of this to anyone. Instead, he decides that if he could just become the best at something, truly the best, he would stop feeling so lost and earn the respect of all his haters, like Brent, who keeps following him around school looking for reasons to jeer at him, and his uncle Vinay, who's always making jabs about how Rahul isn't manly enough. Thus, Rahul begins his quest to be the best, searching for a skill that will allow him to rise to the top of the social pyramid. Meanwhile, his mom plans an international bazaar, an event where she can share her Indian heritage with the community and help others share their cultures as well. And Chelsea, who was once his constant companion, begins to expand her friend group. Rahul soon finds that even victory can't bring you happiness if you can't be honest about who you are. Filled with heart and humor, this book has an uplifting message for all young people who feel like they have to hide parts of themselves from the world. I listened to the audiobook, available on Mac and Via, and I love that it was read by the author, the actor Malik Pancholi. If you prefer a traditional paper copy, we've got one available to check out in the library as well. I gave this book a four out of five stars.